सो वेलकम टू अनदर अमेजिंग ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगनर्स विद यू लर्न इफ लाइट स्पीड किस प्लग इन और एनी अदर प्लग इन ब्रेक यू वेबसाइट वॉट यू कैन डू अबाउट इट स्पेशली गेस्ट मोड एंड गेस्ट मोड ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड नॉट जस्ट दिस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू कॉन सी हाउ यू हैंडल जाट एवर्स ऑन यू वेबसाइट एंड फॉर बिगनर्स स्पेशल गॉट इच ए लॉट इफ यूर बिगनर्स यू हैव नो आइडिया अबाउट हाउ जॉब स्क्रिट वर्क This is going to be a really nice video for you, and you learn a lot of things. Especially when implementing cache plugin on your website and the mobile view is broken. So once you install or activated Lightspeed cache plugin, then you go to general, and here you can see that you have these options: guest mode and guest mode optimization. So if these options are on, you can get the best scores of your website. Because what is happening? Lightspeed cache plugin is creating a cache version of your website pages, which is served to the visitors very fast. For example, somebody open a website. and this completely 100% cache version of your website is presented to the visitors and of course after few second the dynamic content which need to be changed depending on user to user but first only the cache content html content will be shown to user that's why when you enable guest mode and guest mode optimization the page loads really fast and you get the best score for google page speed inside and gt metrics of course okay but what happen when you enable this option it can break your website so let's see what is happening here So what is happening when you enable two options? You might have some JavaScript errors on your website, and there are few things here we need to consider not to have the broken website. Okay, let me show you what step by step you can do. We'll go from easy things, in then we'll cover JavaScript part, how to understand the errors coming on your website after enabling a plugin, and how to overcome those problems. And this is a very important video, guys. You're gonna learn a lot of things in this video, so make sure you watch this video until the end. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. You will learn a lot of interesting things on this channel. and also it helps me to grow the channel and this kind of good content reach to lot of people because sometimes people say okay i was looking for this error from so many hours on youtube but i couldn't find any nice tutorial and finally they found my videos so make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and share this video so this can reach to many more people and they can also get benefit from this kind of videos okay so first thing you need to do is when you have guest mode and guest mode optimization open then you need to go to cache and then from here make sure cache mobile is on in most of the cases it will be off by default but make sure this option is on this is really important guys and you can see a service is separate cache copy for mobile visitors it is also useful when your theme is not responsive but yes if we are using guest mode and guest mode optimization this option is really important make sure this option is on so once this option is on make sure you click on save changes okay next thing you need to understand is you need to go here on esi and make sure esi is on this is really important and then save changes okay what is esi and what is happening here let me give a very small idea about it so you can see this is my website if somebody comes on the website you can see there's all generic information here on the website information about different things on the website but what happens i also run a e shop on the website if i go to web consolidation you can see and complete speed optimization i offer this service to visitors of the website where they can add some product to the cart and then they can buy some services and this is a dynamic content so for example somebody added this service to their cart so this information is unique only for that user somebody else might have added some other service on my website so what happen with because of asi when somebody open the website first the cache content will load on the page but then the information that this user added this service to the cart it will load it after few seconds so first the cache version and then this kind of unique information will depends from user to user will be refreshed on the page using ajax for those who are not aware of ajax ajax is something which runs in the background so your website page can load and there's some process runs in the background to change the elements on the page so make sure esi is enable from this option and then make sure you click save changes okay this is very two important things first thing is enable cache mobile second is enable esi two very important things okay now let's see what happens so most of the time there's javascript error on your website and you will be like your website is broken and you have no idea where to start how to solve this errors okay let me give you example so i will open my website in a new browser you can see this my website and i refresh the page if you right click on my website and then you scroll and click on inspect and now you need to go here on console and then you can see on the right you will see the four issues on the website the four javascript errors it can be javascript error or it can be css errors So this tutorial is true for both cases for JavaScript errors and CSS errors. Whenever I say JavaScript, if your error are related CSS, you can just replace CSS, and this tutorial will make sense. And you can follow the same steps even for CSS errors. You can see we have four errors here. 
the first two errors you can see the ads are blocked there because i'm using ad blocker plugin that's why this script are blocked there so we do not need to worry about these things if you use ad blocker and then you have an error related to ads you don't need to worry about it it's not an error on your website it's error on your browser okay but if you scroll the page you can see we have two more error here fail to load resource content and then uncaught type error cannot read properties or undefined and there can be multiple errors on your website there can be errors that fail to load resources uh, function not defined there can be so many errors on your website and now if you're advanced people i already covered in a lot of tutorials what you need to do is but they're going very advanced today i want to give you like very basic knowledge for beginners and also the quick way how to solve these kind of issues and maintaining your website speed too so now you need to go back to the website admin panel and now you need to click on page optimization and then you need to go to js settings and then make sure this option is disabled js combine this option is used when all the js files are combined on the website and click on save changes now you must be thinking that okay if all the files are combined they will load better because there will be only one file to load on the website so in real if your website is using a lot of javascript files when you combine all these files that file becomes very heavy and then it becomes even harder to load that single file so what we're doing here everything else is on just load deferred is on here delayed or you can use deferred option too especially with this option just combine what we are doing we are loading individual files on the website but they're loading in non-blocking way so instead of loading one big file we're loading multiple files but non-blocking way so they're not blocking your website to load so website score will not decrease they will still stay fast and nowadays i recommend everybody do not combine files few years ago i used to say okay combine files but nowadays i think it's much better because we are using so many javascript libraries on the website so many plugins so it is really good not to combine those files you can try the same things for css settings to resolve css errors if it's related to css make sure this option is off and then click on save changes when a writes js you can just replace the css and follow the same steps let me show you what happens here so if you go back here you can see the four errors before if i refresh the page now you can see there's still four errors what happened because this is very important thing guys whenever you make any change on the website you need to clear the cache of the website so i'll go back on the website and then purge all if you're using a CDN like Cloudflare or any other CDN, make sure you clear the cache from there. Or it is possible you might have a cache on your website hosting. So make sure you log into your hosting account and clear the cache from there. Then go back here and then refresh the page again. So now you can see from four, we are to three years. In your case, there might be multiple errors which are resolved just by doing this step, not combining the JavaScript files. And just doing this step will solve a lot of JavaScript error for you guys. By this point, your error will be already solved. But now, if you still have errors on your website, what you can do, you need to identify the JavaScript file which are causing that error. And then what you can go, you can go to tuning here. And then you can add those file names here which are making the error. To know how you can do that, check this video on screen to follow the next step that how you can know which files are causing this problem and how you can solve them. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. That really helps the channel a lot to grow.